sometimes I wonder if they even believe that that people like me are convinced by them. I'm not convinced, you know, I'm, I'm just not, you know. It's just crazy how how the mentality of these people have this, you know, they just have this arrogance about them that continues to just ooze from every orifice of their body when they talk about how they want to just continue to fall in line with this globalist empire and destroy every last bit of American democracy. And, and you know what? They are actually protesting the thought that Donald Trump decided to pull out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Hey, man, you know what? There were several Democrats that wanted to pull out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. There were a lot of people that were very, very concerned about that. And I was too. I did several other videos on it. I think I've still got two of them that are posted up on Johnny Jetrod the Patriot. Uh, if you look for them, you'll find them. They're probably in my playlist somewhere in the globalist. But you know what? The thing about it is, is that many, many Americans, ordinary Americans like me and you, uh, really had no idea what was inside this TPP treaty. And I call it a treaty because that's exactly what it was. But you know what? The mainstream media continued to sell it as a trade deal. And, and it was not a trade deal. Very little, very little was known about this thing. But what was known about it was the fact that, that very little of it had anything to do with trade. It was all about these corporate uh, unelected people from different countries putting together an agreement to decide our future and how we were going to uh, conduct our business here with our labor, our trade, our our prices, our economy, our our almost everything. You know, our healthcare system, uh, the monetary, the value of our money, of our money, our stock market. It, everything was in, included in this. It was an all inclusive deal, and many of the things that we wanted to do in this country, in order to improve our country would have had to have had a approval of the other TPP partner countries. But other than that, very, very, very little was known about it other than, hey, that's all I needed to know right there. When, when they said that thing was wrote by people that weren't even in our government or people that weren't even in our country and they were deciding our future and how we would conduct business with these other countries and that these other countries would have a say in what happens over here in America. Because you see, it's all about taking down the American system. It's all about destroying the democracy. It's all about destroying the capitalism. It's all about destroying your free will. It's all about destroying everything that you hold dear when it comes to your liberty and your freedom, your freedom to choose, your freedom to say what is in your heart. It's all about destroying that. Everything. If, if you don't know that much about the globalist empire, the globalist system, the globalist desire to crush this economy, then, then you really need to do your homework and wake up. And several, uh, several decades have passed by, and, and they're still continuing to push these, these agendas, and they are long-term project agendas. You know, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, uh, all this stuff, man. You know what? If they had their way, they would reduce this country into a mil military industrial complex uh, the likes of which you've never seen and our industry would be forever gone our citizens would live in poverty many of them would not even have electricity and what electric electricity they could have or would be allowed would be rationed by the government 
Your water would be rationed by the government. Your food would be rationed by the government. What you wear and what you learn would be given to you by the government. Do you really want somebody running your life? Do you really want to be totally controlled like a little child? Are, are you not an adult? Are you not a free thinking, free American with the will and desire to wake up in the morning and live your life the way you want to live your life? And, and you know what's sad about this whole situation? Is that many of the people in the left are exactly like that. They just want to wake up in the morning and live their life the way they want to live their life. Like many other Americans. There's really not much difference when it comes to that. But what they've decided to do is partner and follow and, and listen to the lies of these globalists into letting them believe that they're there to help them when in reality they are there to only economically, socially enslave them and destroy their way of life. All they want is their vote. But you know what the truth is? Hey man, all those things that you enjoy so much today will disappear in a heartbeat if we sell out to the globalist empire. This is the last stronghold for democracy and freedom in the world. A, a lot of your rights that you have today here in America, they don't have that many rights in Europe anymore, although it is still somewhat of a free society. And we can cover that on a whole nother level. That would be a whole nother report. But what I'm trying to explain to you is they will not stop. They will never, ever stop. It's all about depopulating the world. It's all about control. You have to stand up to the resistance like I do. You've got to get out there in the streets. You've got to tell these people, hey, you know what? That's wrong. That's not the way it is. And if you don't like what I'm saying, I'm sorry. But it's the truth, you know? And I've had several discussions over the last several years with many people on these same subjects. And a lot of them are just closed minded because they believe that the Democrats are just the Democrats and they're still for the working man, the average everyday American. Are you a bunch of big dummies? They are not for you. Maybe the Democrat party of way, way, way back was, but not today. So anyway, I'm just kind of rambling on about that. And I just want to let you guys know that this is related to another subject. And this subject that I want to talk about is the billionaire that went rogue. We're going to talk about this particular billionaire who went rogue and decided to overturn the system in our favor. We're going to be doing a special report on that. It's going to be a commentary based report. Okay, so look for that. It's going to be called The Billionaire Who Went Rogue. So that's my report on this, purely commentary. And I just want you to think about what I'm saying. Commit yourself to the resistance. Commit yourself to the, to the strength of the inner will of the human desire to live in free society. I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a Republican, Libertarian, or who you are politically affiliated. This is all about your freedom. Okay? So think about it. My name is Johnny Jetrod. Thank you, America. If you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, share this report, make a comment in the section below, and please subscribe to this channel.